Welcome back everybody to Tony's Top Tips Workshop um, This is just a, a bit of a quick video I've, I've had some requests to, from um, people that have watched my, my videos and that to, to ask me exactly how I've you know the knowledge that I've acquired over the years and uh, about doing various things and they're just asking me if I were ever in the uh, woodworking trade and this and that well, I'll just give you a little bit of history into me, um, my life. At 16 I left school, like most people did. My age now is 68, so I'm 69 this year. Um, and I left school at 16 uh, for apprenticeship and I got an apprenticeship at a uh, fine furniture makers which was called Dalescraft Fine Furniture. Um, and I learnt, I wanted I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do in the in the company, but I went along the lines mostly towards um, the wood machine inside. But anyway, there you you actually learnt the full trade. Um, I started off in the um, machine shop where you kiln dried all the timber that came in, exotic timbers, everything, teak, mahogany, uh, you name it, we had it there and uh, you kiln dried it, you rough sawn it, it was machined and then it went through to cabinet maker's shop. You work from drawings um, and but n not only did you spend time in there because I wanted to be a wood machinist but you had to go through the veneering shop where you learnt to book match the veneers, um, press them onto panels backing them as well because you obviously you can't just put a veneer on one side of a piece of timber and and glue it on because it'll curve to that side so you put a backer on which pulls it straight um, I had to learn to do all that jig making I had to learn to do all that and then I went um, in the machine shop obviously you you depending on what you did in the machine shop when it went through to the cabinet maker's shop is depending on whether they came through and complained to you that these joints aren't right, they're having to do more work um, things don't fit right and so it can cost the company money and of course you go through um, from machine shop department into cabinet makers and uh, as I was saying the gentleman there said give me some chisel sharpen them, that's your first job I thought I'd sharpen them pretty good but not according to him but he knew his stuff and that's why now when I sharpen anything if you can't shave with it it's not sharp um, and then you go from cabinet makers where you, you learn to fit hinges you, f you repair things you, you fit things together um, and then it goes from there into the um, uh, spraying department so I learnt spraying not only cabinet making but spray painting because you tell lack of things, um, French polishing, I learned that as well, um, out of tea coil, um, uh, everything in that sort of department, spray booths, you know, all the lot, and then you go into finishing department where they actually do um, the quality control, the items that come through and fit the final touches, and then they go out to the customers. Uh, nothing was ever in the warehouse, it was pre ordered. Um, and I did, as I say, I did my apprenticeship and I learnt all that. And then, uh, obviously, a young family at the time, and I thought uh, I'd got offered uh, a job. I was only 19 at the time. Um, I got offered a job at uh, working at a, a, a sh place that just come out doing laminate worktops, but there were no post form then, you know, edges, round edges, it was all straight um, edge laminate and they were just, uh, uh, I could earn more or less twice the wage that I was on then at 19 just by doing repetition work, laminate work tops and you know which were on like a computerised gibbon saw um, that brought all your panels up on a, on a sort of a, a lift, uh, it took four panels off at a time, it, it trimmed them, widthed them, turned them round and then you cut them to various lengths. Uh, that, and then you do the double edge banders, single edge banders that put the lips on and trim them off and they'll finish worktops. 
um, and my brother was a chef at the time and he decided to um, come out of chefing and we both went there and earned twice the money and one day from there we both decided that a fire next door at Northern Veneers somebody lost their life in it and uh, and we just decided we called at the local fire station on his way home called joined um, same recruits course um, same squad same station for 32 years which was Bradford Central um, and yeah say it were busy it was probably one of the busiest in the country um, learnt a lot there saw a lot um, saw a lot I don't ever want to see again um, uh, but from there we when we retired after 32 years we both ended up well he'd already started got the job there but I started working at a, um, a food factory with him I was doing the ground maintenance and, and the factory maintenance and then lo and behold I got offered the job of uh, you know machine engineer um, to keep the uh, place running along with me, me brother and, and a chief engineer and I learned welding, TIG welding, MIG welding, plasma cutting um, sipping all machines down that you no longer really see and learning how to repair them and, and the new computerised ones and then we came finished there in 2018 so I retired in fire service 2008 June uh, from um, 19 July 1976 when we joined and I started I had a few days off and I started at the food factory until 2018 and then I finished from there um, and and now I just pass what knowledge I have on um, but I still have a complete joiner shop under the house I've never lost those skills and never want to lose them you know as long as I can do them I will do but I like to in incorporate now new technology and uh, and I've gone along the lines of 3d printing and and uh, CNC laser engraving things that weren't about when I you know originally started my apprenticeship CNC machine I presume the worst in engineering type but not like there is now and um, the computer I saw that I operated worked by electronic eye and it, you just counted the number of discs going past for the number of millimeters so it isn't like it is today uh, and and you know that's the story of up to date um, and as I say um, I'm now on with um, I've been Obviously, some of my viewers um, have purchased the the CNC mat um, CNC machine, and the starting one or two of them are starting to explain problems that they're having with it. And uh, I have not experienced any of these. Only the fault that I found on on it, which was the um, with the touch problem, it was the input voltage plug, um, which CNC mat have taken on board what I found the fault with and they've they're dealing with it how I suggested dealing with it um, but it's just quality assurance and I think you know saying smart if you're listening you've got to be better at your quality control because you know one gentleman's been on to me and you can move the actual Z probe uh, not sorry not the Z probe the um, shaft on the end of the um, spindle motor and you can rock it backwards and forwards but it's not the motor the whole gantry is moving backwards and forwards and it's the actual bushes in the um, z-axis um, and a right little bit of flex but it shouldn't be there you know for god's sake saying to Matt, you need I'm not going to recommend machines to people and then people finding faults with them I'm just not doing it because I can only go by what I've received um, and the faults or a fault that I've you know found um, the only other issue I had was it's a weak spindle 
motor and it should never have been put on there this you know I find it a, quite a good quality machine but some people are finding it the opposite um, so please Saint Smart get your act together um, uh, you know I've praised you no end for your, your um, not your quality assurance but for your, how you're dealing with customers when they find there's a problem um, but please sort it out so anyway that just added on to um, a little bit of my story for me myself but and, and I've only really done this because of a number of people that have been asking me and how do you you know it, your age how do you find um the you know the interest in in looking at the technology and trying to sort it and working it i find some people find it very difficult to, to memorize things and work with new technology it's all a question of um really i find it difficult sometimes you've got to stick at it you know don't try and <laughs> the old saying don't try and run before you can walk with all the CNC's and laser machines a bit at a time you know I've practiced you know with my big professional CNC machine that I've got what I did was I didn't put a cutter in I put a cutter in and, and touched it off and then I run the full program took the cutter out and run the full program might be running an hour but I know it run it there are no hiccups with it and that's what I do you just learn bit by bit by bit and it sinks in um, I mean obviously when you're younger it's like your brain's like blotting paper but the older you get it's harder to 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 you know do that you've got to keep at it otherwise you forget things same with the software for all these you know there's that much software about for what I've got try and keep to one thing utilize one software program if you can that's good like Vectrix I use this fire and VCAV Pro I use those for the CNC machines and because I know how to use that it's it's easier just if it's not working it's not that program it's 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 the software that I use to operate the CNC so as I say um, enough of me harping on but look um, I hope people keep letting me know about my videos um, and I always always say like and subscribe um, that's what keeps me going and and as a, if um, if I get any more feedback on problems that people have in the same spot I will put it do another video because um, one thing for certain is I made a video on my choice personal choice and my experiences with the machines and how I felt about them but if people give me a lot of feedback on things they dislike about the machines that you know I've done the videos on I can quite easily do another machine another video and uh, and I certainly wouldn't recommend them then so anyway until next time as I always say be safe be careful out there and bye for now